Hey guys, Generation here. So what's more fitting than um, having a cat while about to showcase a Caleb Pang team? So we're gonna try out his new line that he put a video up on. Um, we got kids playing upstairs, as you can hear. Um, we also did set a new world record in the 0 and 5 category of two minutes and 48 seconds. So I'll show you guys a quick clip of that before we get started. But this is a good, um, a good team to kind of end Love Cup on if you're looking to make that final push to legend. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, whoa! I, I think you can still get record. I think you can still get record. It's gonna be really close. Come on, baby. 248! <laughs> Four seconds. Four seconds! And you even had a ho -o. That's really impressive. So now that we've got that absolute feat of masculinity out of the way, of me getting world record in the 05 category, uh, let's get into this Caleb Pang line, guys. So I am running just a regular maxed out Metacham. Um, XL is preferred, of course. I just didn't XL mine out because, well, in the rating I'm at, I don't really need to. <laughs> so we're running the Metacham Electrode and Mag Cargo line from Caleb Pang. Um, so here we have an Alolmamola, and, uh, or as FP Sticks would say, that fish. Uh, the only palindrome Pokemon in the game where its name is the same backwards and forwards. Cool little fact. Now, he was able to sneak that waterfall in, which is super unfortunate for us. But that's kind of fine. You know, this is our first game with this team. Just trying it out. So, let's see. I think what I do here is I end up going for Ice Punch. Just to see if I can get it in farm down range. So that I don't have to shield a Psychic anyway, right? So, let's see. Hopefully, and we are able to get it down. So that's great. We trade a shield for switch advantage, and switch advantage is super important in this cup. So it's an electrode coming in, so we're just going to go ahead and throw off the ice punch. This is the preferred move set, according to Caleb. Uh, not power up punch, but ice punch. And I've actually found ice punch to be great for the mirror uh, when playing another meta champ. So. Okay, Electrode comes out. So we bring out the Mag Cargo um, and then swap into the uh, Electrode. Now, the reasoning why I do this is because even if it's a Hyper Beam or whatever it is, if he ends up connecting one after this, um, I'd rather have the Mag Cargo at full health because it's probably better against what he has in the back is what I'm assuming because it's you know pretty rare you run into a double water line unless it's a slow bro. And Mag Cargo can actually handle its own against Slowbro, so let's see what it is. And it ends up being a Scolipede, so I am happy that I did make that swap out um, and preserve the health on the Mag Cargo because it can just farm down the, uh, the Scolipede here. So we do end up throwing back-to-back -back discharges here, so we're, we're going to get those shields back, which is great. There we go. Build up a little bit more energy here. He'll probably end up taking us out. But that's fine because this is perfect farm downrange for the uh, for the mag cargo. Throws his energy. Now we're going to resist all the moves coming out of the scolipede here. So even if it's a sludge bomb, it's nothing to us to take it. A couple X scissors, it's really not a problem at all. And he's energy dry on the electrode in the back. And our opponent gives up. Understanding the inevitable that was about to happen. So we are able to take a win with this team. I'm glad we decided to try this out. I do think this is a great team to make a final push to Legend with, guys. Um, Caleb is so good at creating these teams. And this is just another masterpiece by him. Another great team. So Bombastic 7 here. Uh, Metacham into Slowbro. So this is a really bad matchup for us. Um... Still working on how to uh, how to uh, play this matchup out, but I generally like going into Mag Cargo um, because it, we have a really good matchup. I mean, we're going to have to use shields, right? He's going to get off a Water Pulse, but we already have him at half health. Now, this is one of the reasons why I think Rock Throw is the preferred move set instead of Ember. But you guys have already seen my video on Mag Cargo uh, in the lead 
before and why I choose the rock throw, um, as is the fast move. So we are able to get a shield back. Now, if we shield... Oh, he decides to switch out into his own mag cargo. So he is going to be able to farm us down here. Now, this is our chance to bring in the Metacham and get some kind of use out of it. Now, we're kind of hoping that he throws a uh, Stone Edge here instead of the Overheat, but I'm expecting him to throw the Overheat. But it is a, it is a Stone Edge. It is a Stone Edge that he ends up throwing. So we're going to go ahead and farm all the way down here. Let's see what he decides to bring out. It is the slow bro, so we're going to get off the psychic. Maybe get lucky and get a defense drop of some kind. Let's see here. Psychic goes out. Awesome. Now we should be able to farm right down. Okay, so we are able to take out the slow bro. One shield apiece, we re regain switch, and it ends up being an electrode. So we're just trying to get off as much chip damage as we can here. Probably try to catch the move on electrode here, or just swap in so we don't take the volt switch damage. That's fine too. Electrode in the back is... It can be a problem. So let's see here. Foul play. Okay, cool. So he's running foul play. Good to know that he's not using Hyper Beam here. So we go ahead and throw our own foul play. He's probably just waiting to see if it's discharge or not to see if this game is worth continuing. Sees that it's not a discharge, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a good game to our opponent. So the team's synergizing very well, guys. Um, it's doing pretty good in the Love Cup. Once again, we only have, what, about 30 hours left of Love Cup before we... Get some more open league action. And as you guys know, I do love my open leagues. Um, probably going to be going back and doing some great league for you guys. I'll be putting out some ultra league content. And uh, also some master league content. Since we dropped about 400 points <laughs> uh, doing our our world record run of 0-5s, it was so much fun giving free wins out to people, guys. Uh, I suggest trying it sometime when you hit your target. Um, to go ahead and give other people wins. Now, this isn't a terrible, terrible matchup. I mean, obviously, draw run is going to kill us here. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've seen two water types so far. So not looking super good. Sometimes you just got to hope that they have um, Icy Wind instead of Drill Run. So we bring an Electrode here. Going to throw and hope to get the shield here. At least start whittling away. So far, this team makeup is just really bad for ours. We lose the lead and we lost the swap in. And as you guys know in Love Cup, that kind of spells disaster. So let's see how we do here. One, two, and we are able to get three volt switches, which is at least a, you know, a little bit of a bonus here. So let's see what he has in the back. Ooh, Scrafty. Yeah, we're in trouble here. This is going to be a close one, guys. <clears throat> Scrafty is tough. So we throw the Discharge at the Scrafty. Okay, Scrafty does decide to use its shield very wise. And yep, this is what we expected to happen, but we wanted to get it out of the way before um, Electrode started taking a ton of damage, right? <clears throat> we needed to get this, uh, this slow bro out, and hopefully we can get some energy off it. We'll see. We want the Metacham to be as low as possible going into the end matchup against Scrafty so that we don't get farmed. So here comes the Ice Beam. Okay, we should be able to get off this Psychic here. Yep, and we let him... That was uh, us purposefully letting him get us lower. That way this Scrafty is not going to be able to get as much farm on us. Because all, it, all it's going to take is a, a foul play, really, to take us out. Scrafty's really tough in the back for this team. And basically, we still have to try to get to two moves here, which, um, as you guys know, against a Scrafty that's powered up, it's just an almost impossible task. So Scrafty in the back, definitely hard for this team as it is a, a good answer to Electrode and it's also a great answer to the Mag Cargo. As well as when we swap Mag Cargo and he swaps in a Sea King. That makes for a very tough game, so good game to our opponent. Running the perfect team. 
So we're going to exit out and go right into the next game as quick as possible here. Love Cup. And we have Cardex. Or X Cardex. X Cardi. So let's see how this battle goes. Metacham into a cast form. Alright, this is an interesting matchup only because we're not running Power Up Punch, we're running Ice Punch, which is not that great. A little bit of lag there at the start, we weren't able to get that counter in to begin with. So let's see what happens here. Should be a Weather Ball coming in. Generally, they run Weather Ball and Solar Beam on Cast Form, Sunny Cast Form. I do have one made. Uh, it wasn't for Love Cup, and I never used it in Love Cup. Um, it was just for another Weather Ball idea team that I had. But I still think Rainy ca Cast Form is the way to go uh, in Open Great League. Okay, we're going to go in and try to farm down with the Electrode now. Now that we have a bunch of energy stored on Metacham, uh, we didn't get a swap at the begin with, so I'm hoping that they don't have a Metacham answer. Okay, and oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. We draw out the Wiggly, and we're going to be able to farm Wiggly all the way down now with Mag Cargo. And then hopefully we have a, a solid enough team to answer whatever he has in the back, right? So Mag Cargo comes out. We're just going to farm all the way down here, guys. Don't be afraid to use shields in this league unless you absolutely know it's not going to affect your outcome if they have a counter in the back for what you're shielding. So there we go. Wigglytuff going all the way down here. Ton of energy. Yeah, he brought out the cast form. I kind of suspected that. He was trying to get us to throw our energy there. And it is a vile plume. So this is going to be a very close match indeed. It's a good thing that we have the um, Metacham tucked away with energy. Otherwise, this would be an, an absolute loss. Bring Metacham out. Throw the Ice Punch as quick as possible. And now we just got to pray that it's enough, right? Vile plume in the back. Another tough one. Another tough one, but let's see if we can uh, manage to get this uh, get this win here. It's going to be close, boys. Oh no, we're at the same health. And it's a simul KO, so a good tie. Um, we did die with one shield, so we could have shielded a weather ball and probably have won that, because we could have gotten to Psychic, but without knowing there was a Vile Plume in the back, it ends up a tie. If you guys don't know, in Go Battle League, a tie does not count as a loss. A tie counts as a tie which means you don't gain or lose points from that tie you're not going to gain any points as if you would with a win and you're not going to lose any points as you would with a loss okay so up against landonitis here i think this is our last game of this set as you guys can see this team is performing very well oh good i did want this is why i wanted to show you guys this set because of the mirror match right so, of course, we're both trying to get in the extra counters, and I did get an extra counter in there, right? Now, this is what I like to do. I Generally, they throw the Psychic first, so I'll shield. And I'm assuming he's running Power Up Punch, because unless you're running the Caleb Pang line, there's really no point in not running Power Up Punch, because it's such a good move. And counter is so powerful on Metacham. So we do throw out the Psychic. We hope this connects, and it does, right? It connects. Now, he's going to think that we're running Power Up Punch, I assume. So we are throwing the Ice Punch. Now, if this connects, guys, we just one lead. And we have a Metacham with a ton of health left. And exactly like that, we one lead. So out comes a Talon Flame. Now, all I want to do here is try to get Shields or Chip. So we're actually just going to throw the Ice Punches. We're going to build up a little bit of extra energy and try to get Double Ice Punch off as it does do neutral damage because of Talon Flame's flying type so we do get a shield there which is excellent and it's okay that he's building up energy um we're just gonna let this go it's okay that he's building up energy because we have mag cargo who can easily handle any move from from uh, he resists all the moves from talon flame so there we go and he has a water type in the back of which we have an electrode and we're not going to take any chances here we are just going to assume that he's running uh drill run and throw don't want to take any chances of him getting to a drill run because this is a one game right uh we can shield one drill run we cannot shield and then take one <laughs> so this game is one as long as we play it correctly right 
so we're not going to take any chances we we can even dump our energy here because he's close to two drill runs so we are just going to go ahead dump that energy get this thing out of here and take the w with mag cargo in the back and get a little bit of chip damage off here too i believe yeah we get some volt switches in which is good it's probably going to throw a uh, flame charge here to boost up his brave bird but that doesn't really bother us seeing as how we have a mag cargo in the back to just farm this thing down and there we go taking the win nice positive set guys so a three one and one so we actually went up uh two games worth of points there which is great so anyway thanks for stopping by guys i hope that you uh get a chance to hit legend before love cup is over definitely give this team a try it is super easy mode uh covers itself well um Thanks to Home Slice Henry for having me on a stream for the world record run where we went 0-25, guys, and it was worth every one of those losses. It was so much fun um, using Magikarp in Open Master League. <laughs> it was a good time. Uh, go check out the stream. It's still up. And check out Home Slice Henry's channel. Check out Pogo Science and Shadow Grunt Mike, also good friends of the channel. And also Drew S. has started streaming. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, generation out.